Welcome to Get More Happy. We invite you to journey with us as we find ways, big and small, to get more happy in your life. Hi everyone, it's Elena and Becca. Um, today we wanted to talk about uh, this or something better. So we talk a lot about um, thinking about what you want out of life, spending some time, finding uh, the things that you want, manifesting it, praying for it, dreaming for it, whatever, whatever, right? And we have always learned that there's a little key in there that's really, really important. And, the, and that's the this or something better. Mm -hmm. I think oftentimes where we people go, go a little crazy is when they want a relationship with this specific person or they want this specific job or this specific position in an organization. And that doesn't leave room for... If there's something better. Yeah. You know, like maybe you want to date this one person or I want, you know, but like that's not what would be good for, for either of you. Or, you know, yeah. the most the most recent example in my life right now is I just applied to be in an organization at my university and it, you know, mattered so much to me and I was in it last year and I, you know, cared so much about it and I loved it and I didn't get to be in the organization this year and I just, you know, found that out. And it's so hard because it was something that I wanted so bad and I you know was in it last year and so I knew I like know what I'm missing out on and it's you know it's really it's really sad and I think like it's sometimes hard to know like if there's something that you want so badly that if there's something better it's hard to like discern what that might be and so like for me you know specifically right now like I wanted this so bad like, why didn't I get it? And, like, what could the better thing possibly be? Which we know from the past. <laughs> no, there and were like other things. Other that... things that I wanted so badly that, you know, afterwards I didn't get it. And then I was like, oh, thank God, you know? Yeah. Years. You know, sometimes years later. Sometimes years later. I mean, and, and this thing, like, it's... Fresh. It's fresh, and it's it just happened a few days ago, and it's hard... And it's okay, like, to grieve for a, for a little bit. And I'm going further than that. I'm going further than it's okay to grieve for a little bit. So first of all, I want to give you a pat on the back. <laughs> no, no, seriously. So the day before the results were coming out, you were so specific. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you were so specific. <laughs> words yes are hard um but you were talking to dad and you were like i you know i want you to pray for me but don't pray i get it pray that whatever is best for me is what happens exactly which now and i saw a look on your face well maybe i should have prayed then. <laughs> <laughs> but, well it's just it's just one of those things like it's once that loss happens yeah no i know and like for for everybody like whatever the the experience is for you whatever it means like right now it's this organization that I didn't get for me but whatever that means for you it's okay like to be upset and it's, again it's it's okay more to, than okay no, it's I, necessary it's it's necessary to be upset and it's necessary to to grieve what you lost or what you absolutely what you didn't get especially if you you know if you wanted it really bad and and it is important to not just jump straight to denial and that's something that or acceptance no. jump straight to well okay jump you know yeah but jump straight to yeah okay like an acceptance of right thing. I know we, I meant the same thing but right. yeah but it, but it wasn't okay anyway, anyway. um one thing that Becca and I, or that Becca has taught me. I want to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, a lot of times we are very, very uncomfortable with somebody's grief. And this can be grieving over a thing, a lost opportunity, a person, you know, whatever. We're so uncomfortable with somebody's grief 
that we want to jump straight to the being okay. And so throughout Becca's life, I have, I'm the type of person where when something goes wrong, I jump straight to the positive. And I don't necessarily sit with the grief long enough. Mm -hmm. um, and I learned when Becca was And that was works younger, for some people. Right. But the thing is, you know, when you were younger and I would try to jump straight to the positive, you'd get upset. Mm -hmm. Because you'd be like, it's invalidating what I'm feeling. Yeah. You know? That's how I felt. I know. That you it, said it. No, I just <laughs> no, but I'm just saying that like yeah. it like sometimes like it works for people like for you like when you're upset like you like to jump straight to the positive right you know so it works for people but I'm saying like for me like I felt like the fact that you were jumping straight to the positive was meant denying. that you were invalidating that I was feeling upset right which is where I came up with the denial because I was denying your pain. Okay. Yeah. It's just that that's just one of the stages of grief. No, so I, I know, was like I thinking know. it was not the right word. No, I know. So, you know, what I learned though is when I would let her sit in that and I was just here for her. Because really that's all she wanted was for me to be a witness to what she was feeling. I wanted to be validated. Exactly. Like every person seen yeah. and recognized seen and appreciated. Recognized right? and appreciated, yeah. yeah. And so uh, if I would sit there with her. It would be literally five, 10 minutes before she would jump to the positive, mm -hmm. you know, but she needed that validation. She needed and still do. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I think I did a good job this time. I think I'm still doing a good job this yeah. time. You let and, me cry for a little bit. And well, and I've said to you, like when we, you know, we're looking at the next step every time I'm like, is it time to do that now? And mm -hmm. you're like, no, it's not. Or like we had one time where you were like, yes, it is. And then we started talking no, about it. Like, and then no. you were like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you have been really good. Because then you're like, is it time? And I said, no. And you said, okay. And yeah. that's what you're, you were frustrated with Jesse the other day. Is because Jesse was trying to jump straight to the, you're going to be okay. Yeah. And you're like, well, I want to be not, not okay right first. Now. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and it's really like... It is, like, so okay to not be okay. Exactly. Like, it is more than okay to not be okay. Yes. You know, it's almost necessary yes. to now, not be okay. The thing is, there should be a time limit on it. Well, of course. And well, it, no, 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 but we're talking to people that aren't us. Right. So we know people you know, who get it's, stuck in that I'm not okay right. and can't move on over. They get so focused on what they've lost that they never look for the something better right. that happened because of it. And, you know, like I have been, you know, grieving, you know, not getting into this organization that I wanted to get into and something that we were talking about is I was like, I'm going through all of the stages of grief and, you know, the first four denial, anger, bargaining and depression. And then the last one is acceptance. And, you know, mom was saying that like, it's not linear. It's not. And linear. the first four aren't, but the last one is, you know, acceptance. <laughs> not at least, always. Not, well, I guess like in, in my case, at least like right now, it's like, okay, I'm mad, and then I'm sad, and then I'm, no, this didn't happen, and then, you know, oh, what if, you know, and yeah. it's, like, going through, and it's okay to, like, be going through those, you know, to fluctuate through those, mm -hmm. those stages for a while, but then there has to be a point where it's, like, okay, that's okay, you know. Well, and this is... Let me move on now. This is how I know you're going to be okay, because we well, I know I'm going to be okay. I know, but I'm telling them how I know. Because we very much have always talked about this or something better. Right. So you know at your heart that there is a something better for you mm -hmm. since you didn't get this. We don't know what it is. And, and it is one of those. You never know what it is. Right. But there is a some, And sometimes it's just the lesson. Sometimes it's. Sometimes with grief, you know, like I can talk about how some of these lessons for from you 
maybe I can apply to other people that I deal with mm -hmm. and, and be able to sit with them in their grief, mm -hmm. you know, which would be really sucky for you that it happened to you so that I can be more compassionate, but that could be a reason too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. So when you want something, when you want something, this or something better, trust that when it doesn't happen, there's something, there is better. something better. And it's okay for it to take a while to figure out what that is. Exactly. Let yourself grieve the loss of it with the knowledge that that something better is coming your way. Yeah. So we, you know, encourage next time, next time something that you want, you know, and when you're, you know, praying about it or, or, or manifesting it or however that works for you, you know, imagining it that if you want this thing or if you don't get it, that means that, you know, there's like what you just said. Like yeah. there's something better. <laughs> I literally just repeated what you just said. That's okay. But I felt like I needed to. So. That's good. Have a happy day. Bye.